Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs, and thank you for watching another video by me. Now, today I'm going to be showing you uh, Cinema 40 3D text effect. Uh, the final outcome, if I just go over to it here, should look something like this. Basically, where you've got a black front, and you can have whatever color you want the text to be in the background. Here, I've got a limish, slimy sort of green, and you see how it kind of bevels into the black slash grey text and that is what I'll be showing you so let's get started go to file and new and the first thing you want to do is you want to insert some text so go to the squiggly line with a plus freehand tool and click text type in what you want I will type in chroma and I'm going to change the font and I'm going to change it to reboard. That's what you saw in the um, in the description. Reboard, okay. Now, as you see, this font, uh, some of the lines overlap. So I'm going to go to horizontal spacing and I'm just going to, going to increase it so, so they're all separated out. Now, once you've done that and you've got the basic outline for the text, you want to basically make it 3D. So go to the circle a sphere in a box and go to extrude nerves then just get the text and drag it up to the extrude nerves until when the down arrow is being displayed and click and let go and that'll make it 3d there for you so if you render there there you see you got some 3d text now once you've done that you can tell you what we do we'll make a plane so I can maybe cast some shadows later on now width, I'm going to do my famous spamming of the nines, just makes it light, a uh, big plane. And maybe just lower it a bit because it's a bit high up. There we go. Now go back on to the extrude nerves and go to object. And under the movement you see there's three boxes. Now the one on the right is the um, is the, basically the depth of the text, how how, how thick it is. So I'm going to change it to about 80 and that'll make it uh, four times thicker than what it was from 20. They see it's thicker. And then on the extrude nerves you can either hit Control C, Control V, which are the shortcuts for copy and paste, or you can just go to edit, copy and edit, paste. But anyway, on the middle layer, well the second layer, um, go to movement and go to change the... Uh, the depth to 40 and that'll basically just halve it so it's half as thick as the previous and if you have the move tool selected up here uh, you see the blue little arrow drag that back until it's roughly in the middle of the text just do that by lining it up with your eyes and as you see the little outline it's roughly in the middle maybe just a bit that way there we go now you still notice that there is not much difference However, what we need to do now is we need to go to caps. So go to on the middle one, go to caps and start to fill it cap and the end to fill it cap and change the radius to 10 on both of them. Now with these settings guys you can obviously alternate them yourself to maybe fit your your target a bit better. I'm just showing you a way of, of that I do. And if you see there, that basically gives it a bevel into the text. But now you see this is some grey, boring old text. So how to do the materials, you can either double click here, and then double click on the thumbnail, and you can go through all these properties here. And I'm going to make a black for the front. I'm going to use a little darkish grey, as in fact, click OK, and OK, and just drag that on the front one. And there you go, if you render it out, that'll be darker grey. I'm going to go to File, Shader, and New Key. And I'm going to drag that onto the back. And that's like some glossy blue. Render it out, and you've got, uh, and you've got the basic text. But to just give it a more glossy feel, you, you can add a light. And just go to Normal Light, click on that button there. Drag it up a bit. Uh, use a blur out to drag it forward more in front of the text and go to shadow and shadow map soft and just render that out 
and as you see there you've got some 3D text with the black in front with the shadows as well and that's looking pretty nice now if you want to change the colour from the blue just double click on it and go to diffuse A and change the colour, change to the lime green that you saw at the beginning there you go and there it is, you change it to whatever colour you want a lot of colours look quite cool, orange don't know why I enlarged that, press the wrong button there you go, colour looks sort of goldish uh, maybe go to purple and to be honest I don't really know why I'm showing you these different colours because you can always try them out yourself but anyway that's about it from me uh, thank you for watching this video please if this helped you out at all remember to like uh, we're bringing out regular tutorials on this channel and um, yeah that is about it and I'll see you guys later